The skull was unearthed in 1996. Since then, it's been preserved safely by the museum staff. In fact, this is a 3D printout. But new modern techniques have allowed experts to gather more information about the skull and put together the most accurate reconstruction possible. So, barring some educated guesswork, such as the sun aging and the chapped lips, this is her face, the woman who walked around Gibraltar 7,500 years ago. We realized that it was an important skull and there were some grave goods not very much associated with it, but there was so much that you could do then. But as time has progressed, um, there's been many advances in genetics especially, um, and also in the field of forensic reconstructions. There's no artistic license except perhaps on the, the sun damage that you see on her face. And the, that slight uh, sun damage is just educated guesswork, really. Everything else that you see about her, even the color of her hair, is what the genetics have told us. So we're really seeing her face. And you know, when I look at her, I, I think, you know, this, I have to be a little bit respectful because this is the image of this woman that died, you know, 7,400 years ago. It's, it's really her. This research project marks a fresh chapter in Gibraltar's history and a new anchor point for national identity. Calpia represents satirically, of course, the first known Gibraltarian. Well, I, I think uh, anybody who sees us almost falls instantly in love with her uh, and what she stands for. Uh, here we have the face of a Gibraltarian from seven and a half thousand years ago, somebody who was descended from immigrants like virtually, well, all of us uh, are in Gibraltar. Um, you could imagine her dressed in red and white in casemates yesterday or one of the concerts over the weekend. Um, very much part of, of what Gibraltar is uh, and I think it puts it all in perspective how long we've been here how the rock has been a shelter and a home for, for, for countless generations. Calpia is now proudly on display at the Gibraltar Museum.